Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Very Views. Thanks for joining me. I can't believe it, but it is. Fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. That's right, it's fun Friday again. They come around so quickly, but I'm pleased it's come around quickly because I am absolutely shattered. It's fun Friday, so on a fun Friday, I like to drink something that uh, will get the start, the party started, get the weekend started, something a little bit fun, something maybe a little bit different. Uh, the beer I've got here today, I remember watching the ads for these in the 80s, early 90s. And I've never had it. Never had it time, never had it then, never had it since, never had it. Uh, it's not Castlemaine Forex, for whom you're thinking that. It is this. It's Holston Pills. It's a German Pilsner. Uh, UK brewed in cans now, although it is. Oh, dog just jumped through uh, door, her door. Um, it is now UK brewed and canned uh, by Carlsberg Masters, but uh, we won't hold that against it uh, just yet. Um, yeah, it's it's an old beer, this. I think it's been going since about 1953, something like this. Comes at 5% ABV. Uh, and I think it's been that since it was launched, actually. I don't think that the ABV on this has um, ever changed. If memory serves me right, this has a slightly lower ABV, actually, in Germany than, than we have here, which is absolutely, absolutely flipping amazing. So there we go, beer poured. It's what we expect, isn't it, from a lager? Pale golden colour, good head, plenty of carbonation. So it just looks like a typical Euro lager at the moment. Let's get a sniff to shall we? Actually, the aroma wise, that ain't too bad. It's better than most generic lagers. It's sweet, it's hoppy, a little bit of floral, a little bit of lemon. Yeah, it just smells alright. Let's taste show cheers everybody. Welcome to the weekend. That's not too bad actually, it's got a little bit more flavour than, like I say, like the aroma had a little bit more flavour than your average generic European lager. Flavour's a little bit better too. It's got a nice bit of sweet malt. A little bit of hot flavour coming through. In fact, it is like the nose. It's got a little bit of flower on flavour. Um, a little bit of lemon coming, to, coming through as well. Nice little lingering um, bitterness there as well. Thought it might feel a, bit, a little bit thin. But it doesn't. It is crisp. It is refreshing. It's actually not too bad. It's actually quite an enjoyable drink, which is lucky because I bought I uh, got a pack of four four cans, just over a pound, I think, for a, a can. It's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, it is enjoyable, but it doesn't do enough to stand out from the crowd. But it's decent enough, score-wise. I think it's got a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10 for my beer reviews that you're drinking, please enjoy it. Uh, remember, comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff, wherever you're drinking this Friday. Um, like I said, please enjoy it. Uh, until the next review. Cheers, everybody.